the royal family have faced scrutiny over how much they cost the UK in recent months, but the Dutch royal family cost their country even more, despite being wealthier, according to a Dutch report. Queen Elizabeth II's royal household released the royal family's annual expenditure report earlier this year, which has caused the public to raise questions about how the monarchy uses public funds. However, the House of Windsor is not as costly as other royal houses of Europe. According to the group Republic Heinz Genukap, the Netherlands royals are one of the richest royal houses in Europe, and also one of the most expensive. The Republican group conducted research into royal finances over two years, as English-language news site NL Times reported last year. They tallied up hidden costs not included in the Dutch royal's official budget which included around €10 million, pound 8 .9 million per year for the maintenance of their palaces. This is in stark contrast to the British royal family whose costs for royal residences have been scrutinized in their year sovereign grand report. The Dutch report also estimated a further euro 40 million, pound 35.6 million, a year for security. The costs for local municipalities associated with royal visits for the Dutch national celebration of King's Day came in at your 4.6 million, pound 4.1 million and other working visits at your 22.5 million, pounds 20 million. The report authors also noted that Dutch embassies abroad have a space exclusively meant to accommodate members of the royal family on royal tours. These cost money, but are almost always empty, according to the researchers. They noted that the UK spends Euro 100 million, pound 88.9 million, more on the British royal family but the costs are divided among a much larger population. However, they also claim that the biggest hidden cost to Dutch society is created by the fact that the Orange Nassau family hardly pay any taxes. Head researcher René Zwap estimated the Orange's wealth at around Euro 12 billion, pound 10.7 billion, meaning that the Dutch tax authorities miss out on Euro 192 million, 170.7 million, per year. In contrast, the Queen Elizabeth II pays income and capital gains taxes on her private income, and has done since 1992. In addition, Her Majesty pays council tax for her royal residences including Buckingham Palace. Prince Charles also pays taxes at the standard rate on the Duchy of Cornwall. In 2018 it was also reported that the Dutch royal family's official budget would be increased to your 42.3 million pound 37.6 million, a rise of 900,000 euros, or over 800,000 pounds. This was borne by the Dutch population of 17.08 million, in contrast to the UK's population of 66.04 million which provided the royal family with pound 49.3 million from the Treasury in 2018. The Dutch royals are also extremely wealthy, with the report estimating a euro 12 billion pound 10.7 billion, fortune. In 2009, Forbes magazine estimated Queen Beatrix's personal wealth at $200 million, although it reported that the Queen and her family had been hit by declines in real estate and equity investments. The magazine also noted that the Dutch royals may also have lost up to $100 million in Bernie Madoff's Ponzi scheme, although the royal house has consistently denied the allegation. Queen Elizabeth II's personal wealth, which is separate from the public funding the monarchy receives through the sovereign grant, is not made public, but it has been estimated that the Queen's private estates of Balmoral and Sandringham are worth $140 million and $65 million respectively. Widely reported estimates of the British royal family's combined wealth are often inaccurate as they include things which belong to the nation such as the art held in the royal collections. However. The Queen is known to have a private portfolio of investments and income from her horse breeding and racing ventures, which was estimated to be worth £420 million in 2017.